The name Floyd Landis is one most of us mid-staters know, but haven't heard in a while. He's grabbing some national headlines this week, though, a decade after exposing illegal drug use in American cycling. He's back home now in the mid-state, a much different Floyd Landis, at least in most ways. He's a business owner now, and his career of choice, drugs. There it is on the far side, win for Floyd Landis. He was one of the biggest sports heroes in central Pennsylvania history. But it didn't take long for Lancaster County native Floyd Landis to go from cycling champion. Tonight, Floyd Landis comes clean about playing dirty in the cycling world. And his 2006 Tour de France victory was indeed tainted. To one of the most shameful athletes in American sports. I lived through it and I've tried to not obsess over it the last few years like I did for the longest time. And I'm happy that it's over, but I wouldn't wish that on, on anybody. Almost 10 years ago to the day, Landis admitted to using performance enhancing drugs, a claim he had long denied, despite already being stripped of his 2006 Tour de France title. At the end of the day, there was never really a time to appreciate it. They made it public about this test, you know, within like three or four days afterwards, and for all intents and purposes, that was it. But his admission was a mere ripple. He accused other top American cyclists of doing the same thing, including seven-time tour champ and former teammate Lance Armstrong. This week, ESPN aired a documentary on Armstrong, and the former American icon didn't hold back on his feelings about Floyd Landis. I could be Floyd Landis. What, living in Leadville? Or waking up a piece of shit every day. Is that what you think? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I would dispute that, um, but he, you know, I know Lance and I've known him for a long time and he, um, he blames me and I guess if he needs to attribute it to somebody directly, then I guess I'm the guy, but I, I wish he would just, I mean, I don't know, I feel bad, I feel bad for him. I wish he would be able to just, you know, move on with his life, but he still kind of resents me, so, so be it. Floyd's pro cycling career is long over, so he moves on. The bicycles are now rolling past his business in Colombia. It doesn't look like it, but it's got oil in it. Not, not a huge amount, but you know, 20%. It's a hemp processing plant. It's been a rewarding thing to do, and it's been a project that's big enough that it takes most of my time and energy, so it's, in that sense, it's kind of good for my for my mental state. It's then recaptured in a, in a cooling unit. He's a former cyclist turned pseudo-scientist, overseeing the production of his brand of Floyd's of Leadville CBD products. Is there anything in this field that you're doing now that you can even relate remotely to cycling? No, 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 other than we're processing drugs. <laughs> Only this time, these drugs are legal. Those are all hemp biomass, yeah. That's generally how they get transported these days. The CBD industry is booming in Pennsylvania, and Floyd moved back home to take advantage. It's good to be, this is a pretty place, man. It's, it's hard to, I, maybe if you didn't grow up here, you don't see it the same way, but I, I like it. He opened up Floyd's Cafe in Lancaster City in February, just weeks before the coronavirus shut it down. Right now, it's crawling back towards a return. So I don't think this is one that I actually wore. It's just a replica of it. His jerseys are hung up all around the cafe, and in the back, there's a bike shop. Do you think about cycling in the same light as you might have, say, 15 years ago? Back then, it was a, more of an obsession, and it's all I did and all I thought about. Then it was a different kind of thrill, you know, but this is... Now I do it because it's fun, and that's why I did it in the first place when I was 15. Floyd has experienced highs and lows most couldn't think of. A lot of it self-inflicted. Here's a fly. Oh, I missed. How does that thing work? It shoots salt. But a decade after shaking up the sports world. Did this thing come with a manual? He's found peace and a new purpose. At room temperature, it will crystallize over time. Healing. I mean, I don't really see myself as a cyclist. I guess I don't, there's nothing I can do to undo that. And I don't know though that I would, that's part of the story, but I am happy to be back in Lancaster County. And I think when I was a kid, I didn't really appreciate some of the things about it, but I thought it was a little slow, but now slow is better.